So hello and welcome along to another edition of Isolation Interviews for Hospital Radio Reading and for my YouTube channel. I am super excited that my guest today is the fantastic Lloyd Will, who of course plays uh, Sergeant Andrew Rodwell on Neighbours. Thank you, uh, Lloyd, for joining me. How are you? Thanks so much for having me, Matthew. I really appreciate it. I'm looking forward to being here. Now, I mean, there is so much to talk about, but I wanted to sort of start off with your journey, obviously, on Neighbours. And I mean, you joined the show taking on a character that had already been appeared on screen a little bit, played by a different actor. So how much were you aware of the character um, before you joined the show? Sort of like, tell us a little bit about how you came to be involved. Yeah, I, I actually, um, it's an interesting story because I didn't go the traditional way into being a main cast member. Um, I kind of came through the back door, which was, uh, which was unexpected. It was during COVID and I actually had another business at the time in production. We were, we, we made um, uh, content and TV ads and, and things like that. And I had that for about 12 years and COVID really hit us pretty hard. Um, and up popped this audition for, it was two scenes on Neighbours and we were so under the pump. Um, with what we were doing at work and my business partner said look mate I don't know if this is the right time to be doing an audition for two scenes on Neighbours and I'm like ah oh, look but that's what I want to do I mean acting is something I've, I've done since I was a kid but then had kind of a big hiatus and life just took over and <laughs> and I said to him I'm like look I've got to just go for this because I don't know um, it would be fun regardless of whatever happens I go for the audition I got the job do the two scenes and I walked away going, that was fun. I love all those people. What a magnificent set, what a magnificent cast, what a magnificent production team. Um, but I really thought I'd never come back. <laughs> like, <laughs> honestly, I really didn't. I thought it was just too short to really kind of lean into anything. It was only a few lines. And then before you know it, I get, I get invited back again and again and again. And then um, uh, the series, uh, one of the uh, producers, Andrew, got me back in and said, look, we'd like to write you into the show. Are you happy to just keep doing this for a little while while we find you a spot? Cause the cast was, was full at that point. And then that just evolved. And then I think it was at the end of 2021 where Candace and I had our first scene together and this sort of family kind of um, was written in with, with um, Sadie Emerald Chan, who's just a, a joy to work with. And, before you know, we had this little family and then we got told that the show was ending, but it was this amazing experience that we had the opportunity to take hold of. And we got the last few months, we, we moved onto the street, we were put into the um, intro credits and we got to experience it. And then, and here we are, we got invited back when the show um, got picked up by Amazon. So we got a real, a really, really lucky run. I mean, obviously, you know, the hardy work, the luckier you get. But yeah, I feel like things lined up for us um, that we're in the position we are we are now. And I'm just super, super grateful. Yeah. You must also feel really lucky because you've been paired up with Candice, who is just an absolute joy. I mean, I've spoken to her a few times and she is fantastic. And then to have your on-screen daughter played by Emerald, who again is just a absolute talent who has gone from strength to strength. You must feel very lucky mm. that you've got such a great family unit on the show. Absolutely. I mean, I think the first time uh, um, I met Candice and worked with her was at, uh, we were at the police ball and, and she walked, she was so excited and we just got on really well straight away. It was like, we we're both in the kind of same boat of being like, wow, how good is this? We're, you know, we're working as actors, which is really hard. It's a really hard um, profession to get consistent work in. And we had this little stint together and we just said, oh, let's dive in and have fun. And then I met Emerald and I don't know, we built this really nice little unit together because at that stage, we didn't know everyone else that well. Um, and they're all long-term cast. They'd been there forever. We weren't in as often as they were. So we kind of had to rely on each other a lot. And that sort of cemented that feeling early. And then when we got invited back, it was like literally seeing our family again and 
It, it is it is an absolute pleasure. We do have a lot of fun. Um, sometimes too much fun, you know. <laughs> um, but we get pulled into line where we need to be. But um, it's great. They're just wonderful to work with, and um, we ride the ups and downs together of the characters. You know, we've gone through some pretty heavy stuff as a family. I mean, Candace and I, have, we were at all odds or have been odds for so long and that's hard that, that's hard you know when you're playing that um but we came through it um together and i think because we support each other like that it was it was all doable i mean one of the other things as well uh when sort of the show was on uh the first sort of the first time around you had a really great relationship with richie morris who of course um was, yeah, was kind of so working good. alongside you in in the sort of the police station so i mean were you disappointed that he didn't come back or that you know that he's not been back oh. on the reboot so disappointed. I loved working with Richie. Um, he is just a ball of energy. He brings such a positive atmosphere to the set. And I loved his character as well. And I love that dynamic. That's something I feel like I do miss with Andrew a little bit. I would love to have a partner, a police, you know, a, um, uh, another police officer to bounce off. Because he's just, <laughs> Andrew's just out there by himself. Like, and he <laughs> puts a foot wrong often. And I loved it. It was so nice having someone to back you up and then to also work off of. Um, and he, he was so great, you know. Um, so I don't know. Hopefully we see him back one day um, because I know that that character was was really loved. Um, and I think his journey was sort of left hanging, really. I don't think it really got to wrap up the way that it, that it could. Now, obviously, you know, we, we touched upon it there, but it must be quite fun in a sense, to to kind of basically be single-handedly looking after Erinsborough. Um Andrew, he, he does a great job, but he seems to be everywhere. Whenever there's any sort of drama, he it's is. always him. I, uh, mate, I look on the script sometimes, I'm like, geez, I'm there and there and there and there. I'm doing it. He does a lot of things. He bounces between a lot of things. He tries, he, he tries his best. I think uh, we do laugh on set how often Andrew will look over certain pieces of evidence or he'll, you know, some like Sarah, um, sorry, uh, Ka- the character of Kara, Sarah, um, who plays uh, Kara, she'll say, you know, Andrew, um, do you want this piece of evidence? And I'll say, nah, don't worry about it. <laughs> he just doesn't, doesn't use the things to join the puzzle together. And, and I think that's kind of funny that that's his style and that's the way that he works. But he, um, yeah, he is everywhere. He's, there's a lot of crime going on in Erinsborough and he manages to, be across most of it. <laughs> now, when you first joined the show, did you realise quite how popular the show would be and how, you know, how, you know, how many people would be wanting to, to kind of talk to you and find out about the show? Did, did, were you aware of that kind of popularity? Um, well, not really, no. Not, not in the UK, anyway. Um, in Australia, it's not as big as it is in the UK. Um, it's the popularity um, was a surprise. Yeah. About how, I mean, just seeing us in, um, you know, TV week and, and things like that over in the, or I think it's TV week, whatever the publications are over in the UK that, uh, you know, they're massive and so many people read them is there's so many people watching the show, which did surprise me. And, and we obviously have to talk a bit about when, as the show was wrapping up, I know that when I spoke to Candy, she was saying that there were storylines that obviously didn't properly get finished um, because obviously you had to sort of quickly wrap up. So kind of, were you disappointed that, that obviously there were stories at that point that you had maybe been told about that then didn't come to fruition? Yeah. Um, there were, I guess, so when we wrapped at the after party, I had a conversation with the writers and they, they sort of gave me the inside word of some storylines. I probably can't talk about them because I think they're actually going to happen. Um, and it, yeah, it was sad. I mean, it was a funny thing because I was so sad about us losing uh, a pillar of the industry in Australia, like neighbors, so many people that we, ex- so many of our best exports have come off neighbors and, and, both from a production standpoint and cast. And that's what I was so sad about. I mean, the fact that I was missing out neither here nor there, there's always another job. There's always something you can get, but I was so sad. So I kind of was blinded by that. Um, So my, was I disappointed? I don't know. I felt like if something was going to work out, it was going to work out. And lo and behold, 
the show got pulled, you know, got, got brought back to life by Amazon and we're going to get to live out those storylines. So I think it worked out for the best in the other. Excuse me. So when, when you first, because obviously the, the big reveal that the show was coming back was, you know, the fantastic uh, Jackie, Alan, Ryan and Stefan in that video. Yeah. Um, so how, how, how did you find out that it was coming back? I mean, so where were you? How did you find out? What, what was the situation? I found out the same way everybody else did. I really did. It was uh, that video. Um, I got sent it. No, sorry. I, well, sort of. I got sent it by my friends. Everyone was sending a message saying, oh, are you going back? Are you going back? Are you going? And I'm like, what are you talking about? And then I checked this video and I was like, oh, wow. I, it was the biggest surprise because really when it ended, it was like we had several big meetings with everyone and it was over. It was so over and it was really sad and we'd gone through that experience. But then to get that message, then 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 what happened after that was everyone was like, well, are you going back? And none of us knew. I mean, I think we reached out and we did to, to, to Fremantle and all the production team at neighbors and everyone was in the same boat. No one, no one knew other than the kind of four core that we knew were going back. So yeah, like everybody else. Was there ever any doubt that maybe you wouldn't go back or that you wouldn't be asked or was it always kind of, I mean, did you always want to go back if you were asked? Oh, drop of a hat. Absolutely. I'll be back there. I mean, Working on a show where you, you're shooting 38 weeks of the year with such, as I said earlier, beautiful cast, beautiful production team, great um, product, uh, crew. Like it's a joy to go to work. So if you get asked to go back, you're just honing your craft as well every day. I mean, I'm like, I'm there. But I honestly, I, I thought there was no chance I was going to get it back. If I'm truly honest. Because there was, I just saw everyone ahead of, I just saw everyone else, you know, other characters ahead of me. Um, we were new characters. I kind of was thinking what would be the benefit of getting a, I guess, you know, you had the opportunity to develop a whole new audience with the, with those new characters. But I thought they'd just go the easy option and get the people that everyone loved back, you know. Um, so when we got the call, it, it I was just, it was super, super exciting. I mean, yeah, super, super exciting. And also when the show came back, it was the two-year jump. So were you quite excited when you found out where Andrew would be two years later and kind of what he'd be up to? Yeah, big time. Um, I was fascinated to see. Well, I, I mean, I guess the big thing, just maybe from my own perspective, was Andrew didn't really have any friends before then. And we had... Uh, um, Richie Morris, um, but he had no friends that he was hanging out with. So when we came back, I'm like, surely he's integrated. Um, not only that, our family had integrated. So the opportunities um, of how those stories could play out and how those relationships would cause drama and conflict. And, you know, Wendy's out there with lots of new friends and she's integrated and and Sadie's out there with the whole new, you know, the share house, she's friends with all the young people and how that integrates and then creates interesting drama to play. Um, Tony and I had become really close friends. I loved that. It was, it was an opportunity. I'm so glad that I didn't just pick up where we left off. Cause then you've got to spend the time developing those characters, but it was all done kind of off screen so we can enter in in a bit more sort of interesting state. And how have you found getting to do more with Ryan? Because obviously, you know, Toadie is such an icon on the show. So being kind of really pally with him and getting to do more, like the hard-hitting emotional scenes, that must be great fun. Uh, Ryan and I have a really good rapport. Um, really early on, I spoke. He's, he's a very giving guy, um, very generous with his time. If you ask Ryan, hey, I just got this idea or something on no matter how busy he's got kids, he's got stuff going on, you know, he's doing lots of different things and he's also flat out on the show, but he'll find time for you and sit down and help you with whatever you need help with. And early on, you know, from the production standpoint on neighbors, just as an actor, you're learning a lot of stuff. There's a lot of episodes. There's a lot of things going on, lots of storylines, lots of lines to learn. And early on, I I asked him, I said, hey, how do I do this? You know, I understand how to do chunks, but this is a different 
kettle of fish. And he really did help me. And that built a rapport. So then by the time that um, played out on screen, as we just have fun, we have, you know, we have, we have a lot of fun and he, because he's been on there forever, you can go try this way, try this way, try this way. And he's, you know, um, up for anything really, which does make, you know, the job really enjoyable. Now, obviously when the show first came back, we had the the big surprise of Toadie and Trey's being a couple. So being thick, being in the thick of that, A, first of all, what was your thoughts when you were first told that, but also how have you enjoyed kind of the 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 couples becoming friends like you know we obviously have um uh that wendy's got on really well with trays as well on the side as uh on that storyline so so how have you found that whole storyline um oh, i was a massive shock <laughs> obviously i mean i i thought even though two years had passed i didn't i didn't think that mel and Tony would be the ones to not be together i thought that was pretty happily ever after um but you know, you've got to have that high drama. You've got to have that conflict and, you know, characters with big dilemmas. And that was one of the biggest dilemmas you could probably come up with. No one saw it coming. I didn't see it coming. I mean, I was blessed to be the best man at the wedding. Um, but it was not really, you know, the wedding was really, it was about those guys. It was much more about, there was another storyline going on. I was definitely just kind of on the side cheering on. Um but it, yeah, it was super, it was very surprising. And I think off the back of that has created some really fun scenes to play with. I mean, Beck is phenomenal. Um, she's an, another, she's an amazing actress, great to work with and so much fun. I mean, again, probably sometimes we have too much fun where we can't stop laughing, but um, that's been fun playing with Ryan and Beck and, and, and Candace and I having that opportunity to work closely with those guys as like a little unit was, was really fun. Now, the, the other great thing with the, the, the reboot is that you've been given some really good storylines. I mean, we've obviously had the, the whole, the ongoing saga of who is JJ's father and also mm. the introduction of Felix. So, I mean, how have you just found the, the kind of the new wave of storylines that you've been given? Yeah, I mean, I think the the JJ's paternity stuff I felt was probably more of a, a Wendy's um, arc in the end, even though I was kind of a core component of that. I felt like that was when more Wendy's arc in her figuring out where she fit after the betrayal. Um, whereas the Felix situation is, I mean, that's as close to home as Andrew's ever been. Um, and I, actually, just back on the on the JJ thing, working with Riley, that kid is a an absolute legend. Um, him and I have got on really, really well as well. Like, like I've got, like we've got on with everyone on set. Honestly, they're the best. But we've I've really enjoyed working with that kid and watching him grow. I mean, where he started and where he is, and how switched on he is um, with what he does. Um, he's very methodical. He's putting in so much time and effort and he's still at school as well. So that's been, that was a lot of fun getting to do that um, beyond just kind of working with my family and then having uh, then onto the Felix storyline, uh, James Beaufort, who's also a phenomenal actor. Um, him and I gelled in like, well, for, on my part anyway, um, instantly I, when he rocked up and we did a read through or working with um, uh who directed the first scenes anyway we had a director's meeting with Felix and um uh that's I've re that's a really rewarding storyline I think because it goes the most into Andrew's who Andrew is um at a deep level the most out of any storyline I've been a part of so far that's been uh, for me such a rewarding thing to play because it's I mean he's just it's there's so much layers to it you know he's got this brother that he loves dearly and cares about and wants to succeed so much that just keeps failing and just keeps betraying him and keeps lying to him and what does that do to a person how that unravels you and then how that kind of eats you from your inside out um is is really is really fun you know for a, a you know a show like neighbors to to kind of go there it's really it's really great um so i'm looking forward to seeing how that you know, it plays out on, on telly as well.
And it must be quite nice to obviously, because, you know, Andrew's very much a, a kind of does what needs to be done, a sort of a, a yeah. sort of, not a stickler, but, but knows what's right. And then to have a brother come in who's the complete opposite, who's just come out of prison. Um, it, 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 I, I think personally, I think that's going to be a great storyline just to see kind of how the two of them bounce off each other. And, and you know, there are going to be times when Andrew's going to be disappointed in, in things that Felix does. So for you, have you found that the the kind of the chemistry between the two characters has been quite interesting because of the difference? And and also, you know, why, why not have, have a, a criminal and a, and a, a, a police officer as siblings? Yeah, under the same roof. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, a whole new side of Andrew came out. So, um, and and that was on the page. That was on the that was really in the script. Um, and then um, James and I worked together on what you know what was on the page, tying that back into what adopted brothers feel and how that interplay you know interacts with you know the world and other people and um i feel like a whole different side of andrew has come out i mean i think we've seen an, an emotional side of andrew a you know there's elements of regret which we've never really seen before he's kind of been like you know second third gear and then we see all these other gears to him that he, he just hasn't needed to show really and felix pokes him and draws these things out and I love that I love that that's I really do yeah I really enjoyed that now obviously we're starting to sort of meet the the family but would you love to to for us to find out more about Andrew's backstory and and to meet more of his family going forward yeah yeah I'd love yeah any I'd be up for anything um being adopted and being the kind of perfect kid or the perfect um brother opens the door for a lot of interesting angles. Um, Andrew's always been quite uh, stoic, um, relatively even keel. I mean, what are some things that could throw him off and, you know, add, add some spice to it. And I think parents um, finding who his, um, you know, um, true real parents are, I guess, or maybe there is, um, his adopted parents, there can be conflict there around Felix. There's just so many different things that you could do with the family that would um, certainly give, give us a lot of drama. Um, and I'd love to play. I'd love to play any of that to find out. Yeah. I also love to see who they cast in those roles. I mean, um, have you, have you got any actors in, have you got any actors in mind that you would love to come in as your parents? Oh gosh. Um, it would be in, <sighs> Part of me thinks it'd be interesting if there was some link to the show. So like if there was, if the, the um, biological father or mother or something had actually been on the show before, that would be kind of interesting. Cause then it's like, Oh wow. That, that's a whole different kind of connection. Um, I don't know. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's hard to know. I haven't really thought too deeply about who it would actually be, but I think if it could, if, one of them or some of them could be the, who's been on the show before. I think that'd be cool. Now, I mean, just before we go, I just wanted to kind of ask, obviously, you know, we can't do spoilers and we don't do spoilers, so that's fine. But yeah. I, what would you like to see going forward for Andrew? What would you like to see him, you know, overcome? What What would you like to see Andrew get involved in going forward? Um, I would love... I'd like to see some type of unraveling um and now that could be caused by you know parents or whether it's the searching for the new parents sorry the biological parents or or his adopted parents i think something to do with a family dynamic that unravels um that's probably the most interesting because it is such a um i think when you get hit that point then you've got so much room to move going back up trying to find normal again. Um, I'd also love, um, be great to have some, I don't know, I've had this idea. It'd be so fun to have like a buddy cop situation or like a, a just a, a friend, another friend to do kind of silly things with maybe <laughs> like, I don't know. I, I would always love this idea of having 
the pool um, pool table at the waterhole as like a spot that he goes and hangs out with. The new cops know, office. Whether it's Tony or... Yeah, just something like that where it's like almost this like little side tangent storyline. That's fun. So they're probably the two main things. I'd love, yeah, love to see him fall apart. Um, and I'd also love to have kind of like a side quest kind of, you know, having a beer on the pool table kind of thing. <laughs> and we must just uh, quickly mention, because obviously one of the storylines going on at the moment is Sadie. Uh, she's obviously got a boyfriend now. How do you think yeah. Andrew will react to the fact that his little girl is growing up? Do you, do you think he'll cope well with that? Well, I mean, I thought he would, I would think having been through what he's been through, that he should understand that's, uh, that's going to happen. Now, is he going to approve of who that person is? That's an interesting question because he knows Byron's backstory. And is that the right guy for your, you know, young daughter to be dating first up? I don't know. I don't know. That's an interesting question. Um, We will see, I guess. We will see how he deals with it. But uh, I think anyone would be, would have trepidation on, I don't know. Myron's pretty nice. He's a pretty nice guy. He's pretty, you know, pretty happy-go-lucky dude. So, We'll see. Now, I just want to say it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much for giving up your time. Um, and I just want to say, before we go, have you got any messages for the patients who are currently stuck in hospital at the moment? Anything you'd like to say to them? <sighs> um, yeah. Uh, I, I wish all of you the best. Um, Try and bring a bit of joy in the day. Um, try and find a laugh here and there if you can, because happiness and laughter is the best cure for anything. Um, and uh, yeah, much love from Sergeant Andrew Rodwell. Now, people should, of course, keep watching Neighbours here in the UK, uh, available on Amazon Freebie every Monday to Thursday. It drops at seven o'clock. So please keep watching because it is great. Um, yeah, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. Pleasure. Thanks so much, Matt. Appreciate it.